the Caratasca Lagoon, Honduras's gateway to the Caribbean, a UN-protected biosphere, and the home of indigenous mosquito communities like this one. But it's also the new ground zero in the U.S. war on drugs, and increasingly a base for the U.S. military, turning the sparsely populated Mosquito Coast into a violent place. For the Mosquito community of Ahuas and the surrounding area, the Rio Patuca is a lifeline in a highway. In fact, everything that arrives here arrives by boat, from cars to building supplies to food and medicine, which is why people here say it's not uncommon for boats to arrive day and night to load and unload passengers and cargo. The boat that came down on May 11th wasn't unusual, but what happened next and the four people who were killed certainly were. Soldiers opened fire on their boat from U.S. government helicopters while pursuing alleged drug traffickers. Fijos, pues, seguido así. Tres veces, oí. Y ahí, ellos salieron, me vinieron sacando de aquí, me quedé aquí. Y aquí, se pararon, se quedaron aquí un rato. Y de ahí, me llevaban hacia... Ahí vino un helicóptero, andaba por arriba y... Within seconds, four people, including two pregnant women, a child and a young father, were dead. Clara Woods lost her son. Until now, many communities here, closer to Nicaragua than to their own capital, have taken care of themselves relying little on the government for health care, education, or policing. The U.S. conducts anti-drug trafficking operations from a military base at the mouth of the lagoon, saying it is there to intercept speedboats loaded with drugs on their way to markets in the north. Aquí en En el sector existe lo que es la base naval de Caratasca. Ellos están trabajando casi en forma permanente con la fuerza naval norteamericana en el espacio marítimo y llevan a cabo operaciones, llevan a cabo ejercicios. It's one of three forward operating bases the U.S. has constructed in La Mosquitia since the 2009 military coup. Constructed in a number of places, um, but especially in the in the north along the. Atlantic coast, um, especially in the Mesquitia, um, in areas that have become the center of uh, growing conflicts, growing drug trafficking, um, and growing interest uh, from business interests as well. But even before the killings in Ahuas, the military presence had clashed with Mesquitia's ability to fish and live in the lagoon. Danny Williams' son was run over by a Honduran warship while he was fishing. The army promised to help pay for his son's burial, but it never did. Long known as the Banana Republic, Honduras today is the second poorest country in the hemisphere. 65% of the population lives in poverty. But that might be about to change. The 2009 WikiLeaks cable from the U.S. Embassy in Tegucigalpa talked about a large-scale project, an unprecedented project for La Mosquitia, a public-private partnership uh, that the United States uh, military was really leading, but in uh, coalition with a, a range of other U.S. government agencies um, for La Mosquitia um, to, to bring together public, meaning U.S. government and Honduran government and private um, entities mostly um, for-profit companies, um, General Electric, um, a large real estate development firm. Just what that development might look like is unclear. 
but many say it is part of a broader conflict over resources. The drug war in Honduras, the areas that are in conflict in the, in the drug war, exactly coincide with um, areas where there's a lot of interest in natural resources, whether that be petroleum, mining interests, rivers for hydroelectric dams, land for African palm or sugarcane plantations, which are both used for biofuels. Um, that's what the conflicts are about. Um, and he, security forces in Honduras and in other parts of Central America, like Guatemala, under the framework of the drug war, are being used to displace communities, um, to separate them from land rights, and gain access to natural resources, land, rivers, petroleum, forests. and. The U.S. assistance in the drug war is, is helping to facilitate that. Human rights groups say militarization is already forcing indigenous communities off of their lands. Si nos están matando, ¿qué es lo que nos interesa? Salvar las vidas y entonces lógicamente hacen el, el desalojo casi voluntariamente porque tienen, tienen que poner a salvo su vida. Y ese es, Por eso esas, esas, esas operaciones tan fuertes que han traído resultados trágicos ya en, en, en el lugar. In response to the growing violence, Mosquito leaders have organized assemblies like this one. Representatives from 43 communities across the lagoon traveled for days to come here. They are demanding that military and business interests meet with them first. Yo creo que ya es tiempo el pueblo mexicano de la tiene que negociar con nosotros. El gobierno norteamericano tiene que negociar con nosotros. But to the mosquito here, there's more at stake than their heritage. Que si sacamos todo hoy ya no va a haber nada para los hijos, no. Y como nosotros decimos, esto no es cuestión de dinero. Reporting from Puerto Limpira, Honduras, for the Real News Network, I'm Kaylin Ford.